a snippet of Arkansas Traveler, and it's a tune that I play in the key of D. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how um, I use a false nut, otherwise called a reverse capo. Um, I'll use the term false nut because that's the term I use. Um, what is a false nut or reverse capo? Well, it's a Here's one <laughs> right here. And how I made mine was I ate at a Chinese restaurant with chopsticks and brought them home. And then I cut a piece of chopstick to approximately the length of my index finger. This one is. I mean, I just cut it when I did it. I wasn't measuring carefully or anything. But it's about as long as my index finger. I made a spot, whittled a spot that's more or less flat so that when I take this and wanted to slide, want to slide it under a string, it rests under the string pretty well. Rests under the string, doesn't move around or fly away. Um, say, uh, say I'm in a jam and we play D tunes, and somebody calls Violin Cabbage Down and we, we want to play it in A. So what I would do is I would take my false nut, uh, and I'm tuned to DAA, by the way. That's an important thing for you to know. I'm tuned to DAA. And then I will slide my false nut with the flat part down on the fretboard, slide it under my bass string to change my tuning to EAA. EAA. And then for bottom cabbage down, uh, that I'm in the correct tuning then to play Violin Cabbage Down out of the key of A. So that's one way I might use a false nut is to make a quick uh, tuning change in a jam situation. Uh, it'd be a good idea, I have a tuner on, it's a good idea to check your tuning between <laughs> when, you use, when you put a false nut in um, and then when you take it out. It's a good idea to check your tuning to be sure then your tuning's still in good shape. So anyway, that's one way one setting in which I might use a false nut. Now, I'm going to talk about um, using one in a setting. I usually just do this at home. There are tunes I just play at home for my own pleasure. And I have this dulcimer tune in bagpipe tuning. Low D, D an octave higher, D an octave higher. And what I will do out of this tuning is I'll take my false nut and I will slide it under the bass string and the middle string to raise those two D's to E's. E, E, D. And then I'll play, might play something like this. To me, that the, using the false nuts is just a quick way to make a tuning change, and I'm not uh, not turning, taking my strings up and down. Um, but anyway, that's just a, a, a demonstration of how another way I might use it, um, a false nut. This video is in no way exhaustive <laughs> on the topic of using a false nut, but there's just a couple of ways I, I use it. So hey, thanks and happy strumming.